Hey, y'all. Oh, I don't know why I didn't turn that light off. It's me back with another video. It is so freaking hot. The little kids next door, they can put up a little swimming pool, a little blow up swimming pool. I might have to go out there and get with them. Um, I'm making this video before my granddaughter come because she on her way and we gonna be busy. I'm trying to keep my hair up and not be touching the back of my neck because, child, it is really hot. So, I wanted to talk about something that I saw earlier on Instagram. I know that everybody saw that the police officer that murdered um, Philando Castillo got off um, yesterday. And it was murder. I mean, I, I don't even want to go into that whole thing because that situation was just plain, just blatant murder. He killed that young man for no reason. But what I do want to talk about is the fact that, you know, his mom, I guess, had has been verbal on social media. I know she made a statement on the news. So I guess today she went live on Facebook or something. And her emotions are raw. They are her feelings, the way she is feeling. And, you know, she is cursing and just speaking her truth. And someone in the comment section, a white man, had the audacity to say, you should stop cursing. Um, yeah, we get your message, but stop cursing. And I'm like, how do you tell somebody how to feel when they have lost their child? How do you tell somebody how to speak or what emotions they should have? Like, white people sometimes really get on my last nerve. Like, shut up. Let this woman be. She has lost her child. A police officer killed her child. Basically, on, uh, in a national, on a national platform. And you had the audacity to tell her to don't curse. That woman can say whatever she wants to say. I mean, I feel her. I lost a child. My stepson was killed. And I don't speak on this often, but my, about three years ago, my stepson was killed. My stepson, who I considered basically my child, him and my son were shot, and my stepson didn't make it. My son did. I cannot tell you the anger that I had for a while. I just did not voice it on social media. And he was killed by another black 20-something-year-old person. So this was black-on-black -black crime. This woman is allowed to say whatever she wants to say. If she hates the police, I don't blame her. Because I had a lot of hatred for a while that I had to deal with. But I dealt with it the way I saw fit and she is dealing with it the way she sees fit. Let that woman be. If she hate the police, oh well, she has a reason to. It's just sad, the nation that we live in and the fact that people take our lives for granted.
it's sad. And it hurts, you know. When I see things like this happen, I try not to speak on them because I like to keep my channel light. And I like to keep that kind of stuff away from me because I know how easy it is for me to sink into a place where I don't like to be because I've been there as a parent. And I know how much pain um, surrounds that type of loss. Because I've had it. Let that woman be. Let her grieve. If she wants to call people a bunch of MFs and whatever, let her do it. Let her get it out. Because I held on to stuff, I think, for too long. I held it. Didn't know how to express how I was feeling. I mean, I'm in a much better place now. Me and my son, you know, I thank God he's at a place now where he can talk about the death of his brother. It's extremely difficult. And... That put a riff in our family. Death will send people to a dark place, an uh, angry place, if you let it. You got to let that out. She's got to let that out. She's she hurt. She's angry. She's frustrated. Like we all are. We all are frustrated. Black people are frustrated. We are tired of this. And it just keeps happening over and over and over again. But don't think that these people won't be punished. Because they will. We just won't see it. And that's the thing. We have to get out of wanting to see the person punished and just know in the end they will be. There will be justice. We just don't always see it. And I think that is what made me, you know, feel better. The young man that killed my son, something is going to happen to him. Him, a family member. It may not be here on this earth, on this plane, but oh, you going to meet your maker and have to explain why you had to pull a trigger on two unarmed people and kill one of them. You don't just walk away from that and nothing happened to you. And I'm at a point now where I don't have to see justice because I know that it will be. It has to be. And I'm praying for his mother. I really am. As a mother, I'm praying for his mother because I know her pain. Let that woman be. Let her deal with her grief however she see fit. Send her some prayers. Send her some some energy because she gonna need it. She gonna need that. Because this police officer getting the office is slapping the face for her right now. Send her some good energy. I know I got some good people that follow me. Y'all send her some good energy. And the rest of y'all cuckoos, y'all know what y'all can do. Let me go get myself together because my baby will be here soon. And you know we're going to make a video with her little cute self so I can show y'all my little girl. We're going to go on out here and we're going to have us some fun in this heat because it is hot. You hear me? For little gizmo, last night he was just like, oh, Lord, help me. I didn't sleep at all last night. It was so hot. Let me go because I'm around. I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Bye.